G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Aberration, part 5 is here in Aberration. Now, yeah, my goal for this video guys, uh, I'm just going to go out and want to find a couple of things, mainly metal and a better titane. This dodeck looks amazing, it's an 50, I am sad. So yeah, I've got our iguana on here, who's, you know, alright, but yeah, I want to find, speaking of bet, potentially better titanes, 50, 15, with the alpha, alpha's also 50. Yeah, we're staying away from those. They will shred me in like two seconds. There's a sheep there, so we have to keep that in mind if we do find a Ravager. But I also do want to find a better bulb dog. See, I am rocking the <laughs> cropped avatar skins. So yeah, that's why I look kind of funky. Uh, yeah, I want to find a better bulb dog, because I current one's like my little like 150. Let's talk on the mushrooms. Like, what are you saying? Oh, that means Let me just turn the bulb dog on. So, if anything that's max level comes in range, we'll know it. Um, yeah, and I said, oh, yeah, I was gonna fall and find metal. This is a surface entrance, I'm pretty sure, so I'm not gonna go there. I'm by no means ready for the surface, but yeah, I also find more metal because just hitting those rocks endlessly for metal is not fun. There's max level something. It's a trike. I also wouldn't mind getting a dire bear for the next level. No. Oh, you. So go. You. Yeah, the glow bugs don't get levels. Um, what is the max level? Because if it's like a ravager or a dire bear or something, or like another iguanodon maybe even, or a bulb dog. Oh, it's might be a raptor. I'll take a raptor. We have to be very careful with these guys because they're aberrant. Also, grab me up. Right. Level ten. You don't deserve life. All right, guys. So right ahead of us, that blue die bear right there. That is a one forty. And yeah, I want to tame it. Just got into a fight with some ravages, so I might be a little bit hurt. What's that? A turkey? Definitely leave that alone. Instead of their moss chops, I haven't checked the level of the other one. Let me see. 15. Alright, that might boost. We're gonna have to kill the other one. But, yeah, that's amazing. Die bears are really good tames. Like, I'm glad we found that. Also, because, yeah, beehives are reasonably common on this map. And if you didn't know, honey is amazing for taming these things. But, <clears throat> yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take this off because it's in my face. So yeah, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a small there we go. Build a small trap for this thing. Like yeah. I'm not certain if diabase can break can break wood. They obviously can't break stone, so I'll probably build out of, yeah, I reckon I'll build out of stone. And then we'll drink it out. Now, this could be problematic because diabase are a pain in the butt to tame. Like they um they have a terrible health to health to torpor ratio. So basically <laughs> you're doing more damage to them than you are torpor. So they could potentially die. So yeah, it is recommended to use darts to tame one of them. But hopefully I can get away with do I have stone light? No, I do not. Uh, stone. Let's see. Foundation. And which is cheaper, the regular stone or the double? They're the same, aren't they? Wait, no, I can use the fence supports, can't I? Like, can you put... Let me just... Yeah, fence supports are actually pretty good for traps because they're really cheap. And you don't need to place them on foundations. Uh, 16. Let's make... 8. And we'll, we'll need ramps, I'd imagine. Um, excuse me, game. Here we go. What's happening with my game today? Lots of moss drops here. Also, yeah, this is a pretty good area too. So, oh, yeah, a place like this, right? I haven't used these things in a while. Um. Uh, sure, whatever. All right, uh, actually, no, I'm gonna pick this up. I'm going to put these on my bar, so that when it runs in, 
I'll just be able to um, trap it in. Alright, we're going to have to kill its friend, which luckily is a low level. Unless I can bait them both over, which I doubt. So I guess we'll just have to run around shooting. How did that miss? Please, game. Yeah, I swear. I haven't used a crossbow in so long. Did I really have that much drop? Are you serious? Well, the other one's not aggroed because this one was far enough away. I need to keep moving it away. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, I'm stuck. Oh no, all oh, this could be bad. Oh, what? See what I told you about bears being OP? 200 damage as a wild. No, that's a lot of damage! That's like not okay, you know that. Alright. Let's keep shooting the uh, brown one. Your terrible non event colors. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, they're so close to me. This iguana is not fast enough for this. There's a bulb out there. I'll have to check its level. I think I hit the uh, blue one, which is bad because, as I said, I want to have as much health as possible. Oh my, we can't take many more of those. Jesus Christ. That's so much damage that these things do. Look at the scorpion. No, no, oh my god. I don't want to lose this one on. I'm taking many unnecessary risks here, which is probably not a good idea. I'll just have some more of these for water. This iguanodon is not fast enough for this. Okay, good, it's dead. Alright. Now I have to try and de-aggro the other one. Which could be difficult. Also, let's try and de-aggro it over this way. Don't hit me, don't hit me, you'll one-shot me, probably. Okay, now we'll one-shot me, it'll just come close to it. We'll have to deal with that scorpion. Unless something else deals with it for me. See, so I'll leave this bear over here, and then into the trap. Seems we don't really need to de-aggro it, do we? So yeah, Bob Dog's already run out. Which is unfortunate. Let's keep eating the mushrooms, because those are what's keeping me alive. Alright. It's coming in, and jump over. That's in. Let's try and quickly place the... Oh crap, I can take a few hits, that should have it. Tr oh crap, passive. Alright, it appears to be accurate to the trap. Let me just pick this one up. That should have it in there. Let's go deal with this guy. I did hit amazing. Only level 20, should be pretty quick. I love the event colors on the aberrant creatures because like the glow. It's amazing. And get wrecked. Yeah, this corrupt avatar skin is really uh, flashy. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a magnifying glass, so I can't see what health this thing is on. Oh, crap, don't. Oh, my. Jesus. Christ. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put my shield back on. Did please go. Okay. Alright. Now this iguanodon is on very low health. Yeah, a few more hits from that spare and it's toast. So yeah, we do have it trapped though, so we can tame it. And yeah. But yeah. Like bears are insanely good. I'm so glad we found a high level one. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to really space out our shots. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember one time back on mobile, um, I knocked out a dire bear and I had zero health. Because <laughs> in mobile you can see the health of creatures, um, like just by normally like, going up to them, like instead of like yellow text, it would show up as like um, it would show up as uh, you know what I mean, like like that, like like a blue. Black box, the top of your screen that'll uh, show you like the creature, its stats, and its gender, and all that, as well as its health. Like its exact health, not like decimals, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, and I knocked one out and I had zero health. Like I was very touch and go there. And that was with darts, so hopefully we can get this thing knocked. I know you can knock them out with arrows, but like it's just very touch and go. Like yeah, I do have to not get hit. Um, I do have to space out my shots a lot. Do you have enough tranks for this? Like, yeah. Me and Saluted on here have been just farming narco berries. 
for a bunch uh, in between these two videos, and yeah, I am set on narcotics. I wish I had a magnifying glass. Like, what do we need, what do we actually need to craft one? Let's see, a magnifying glass. We need obsidian. You can only get. Can you only can't you only get it on like the surface and in the red zone? That would suck if that's the case. Yeah. You like optimally you'd give it like five seconds between each shot, but like yeah, I'm not counting really. I'm just shooting, rooting, tooting, shooting. And yeah, unfortunately they don't take headshot damage, but that's actually not like it's actually not really a good idea to do headshot damage on these kind of creatures that have like a bad health to torpor ratio. Because, like, Hedger Damage will do more Torpor, that's for sure, but, like, it'll also do more actual damage, um, as well as Torpor. So, um, it'll do more act. Like, so, so, say, like, the Torpor to damage ratio is, like, one one damage is to two Torpor. Like, the Headshot will do, like, uh, two damages to three Torpor. You should have run the butthole. But, yeah, so don't, don't Headshot creatures that have bad Torpor to health ratios. Please don't hit the parasol, that would be really unfortunate. Or the turkey, that would be very unfortunate. Because as strong as this bear is, this turkey will demolish it. And it's getting very close. Also, I don't want to hit the turkey. No, please don't hit the turkey. Okay, good. Why do you... I hate turkeys, they're so annoying. Imagine the game's like, auto-aimed accidentally makes me hit it. <laughs> that would suck. Like, I do not have the facilities to kill one of those things, and I probably won't for the next like ten episodes. Go away. Let's keep knocking you out, buddy. Should start torpor. <laughs> Should start torpor running soon, as I said. I think that's it now. Does it look too bloody? Nope, that's not torpor. Yeah, it looks a, it's a bit bloody, but hopefully I can still knock it out. If worse comes to us, we'll have to leave it and heal, and let it heal. But hopefully that doesn't come, so hopefully we don't have to do that, because I really want to get this bear. Like, having this thing early game would be such a beast. Like, this thing is bas- like, this thing is basically free fiber, free berries, and really just strong tame. Like. Bears are really good. So, yeah. I don't know, I guess I'll see you guys when I knock this thing out, because it's taking ages. Yes! Oh my god, it's finally down. What else is on? Oh, I... It's fine. It's chilling. Yeah, that took so many hours. It's just a bear. Like, Jesus Christ. Uh, more health. Uh, let me put you on the track, I think. Yeah, bears kind of wake up a little bit quickly, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. But yeah, I want to see if I can find a beehive. It is kind of dark. If I, well, let me type the A. That would be uh, nice, please. I'm already on Gamma 4, I'm dumb. Uh, I'll see if I can find a beehive. Hopefully I can. Also, I saw a... Yeah, there's a bulb book here. See, I want to get a high level one. It's an Elvis. You. 20, you suck. Um, yeah, I'm going to get a high level one because my current one is not that great. 
So 10, probably. Either way, it sucks. Uh, yeah, my current one, it yeah runs out of charge way too quickly for my liking. Um, so yeah, I guess let's see if I can find a beehive. I think there was one near near our spawn, wasn't there? Like our original spawn. There's also a pack of ravages, so eh, I'll check it out. I can at least bowl the ravages. Yeah, I have a lot of bowlers on me. Uh, yeah, I'll check it out to see if there is a beehive. If not, we'll try and use mutton. I don't know if mutton's that great for bears. Maybe we'll look it up on Dota Dokes. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see. That. I kind of want to steal this. What level are you? 10. Alright. I'm stealing these. This is mine now. Alright. 46. Oh my god. Yeah, you only do 30 foot out. That's red gems. I really want those. So yeah, we've got enough blue gems for a glide suit now, so that's amazing. Alright, no red gems for us, I guess. I really want them, because we can use these to make a gas collector. I will just have to let the one on tank the damage. It can do that. 17. Shield. Do your thing. Of course I'm getting stuck, aren't I? Please, game. Please. Please, game. Don't. I hate this game sometimes. Jesus Christ, I broke my shield already. Run. Run for your life. This stupid iguana on. Oh, yeah. Well, I will probably eventually leave us alone. Probably eventually. Uh, that's a Connor. Let's leave the Connor alone. Let's make a Nero. Let's leave. That's a Ravager. I have to kill. Probably do want to kill the Ravagers. So, oh, it's got a pack. Oh no. Why are the ants attacking me? I don't have time to deal with ants. Right, the Ravagers fight. The freaking. Get bowled. Alright. Run. 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 I'm good. Come on, please. Please, I need to run. Those are raptors over there. Alright, yeah, I'm... Mm. Alright, still after us. It's not fighting the ravages, seriously. I took your gems. How... Honestly. Please fight the raptors for me. Don't want to have to deal with you. Maybe I shouldn't have taken its gems. Um... Yeah, I'm going to turn on my light, too. Okay. Because, yeah, we'll want us there are max levels, which could be helpful in case that max level could be, you know, something bad. Let's see, is there a beehive around here? Or am I remembering wrong? It has been a few days since I recorded the first episode. Um, not sure. Beehives are reasonably common on this map, as I said, believe I said before. So, hopefully. Hopefully the bees don't mess us up. Because I'm currently not looking too good on the armor side of things. Jump up here. I hate how you have to, like, it takes ages to switch between the Iguanodon's, like, modes. Of, like, jumping and attacking and also... That dodo looks amazing. Uh, let's see, what else is this bulb dog over here? Five. You're kidding me. Alright. I don't see a beehive. It's a max level somewhere around here. Or is a max level around here? I just, like, a basilisk and just comes out the ground and kills me. That would suck. Um, I don't. Just, I was about to say I don't see the ravages anywhere. Then I saw the ravages. I don't know. If the tech raptors can't dismount me. I don't think so. That's not too much of a problem. All right, yeah, I'll just kill the sheep. Uh, that bolt looks sucked, right? Didn't it? Uh, yeah, twenty-five. All right, yeah, I'll just kill this guy. See it. Die. Hope mutton's decent for bears, otherwise I'm in, a world, I'm, in, I'm in for a world of pounds. It's 125 sheep. Also, I'm pretty sure we need pelt for the bear saddle, which I guess we'll make while we're over here next to base. I love how common sheep are on this map, I gotta say. It's sheep. sheep bodies are so tanky, it's ridiculous. Uh, let me drop all this stuff. And this... Um, yeah, I guess I'll make the saddle and I'll see you guys when the bear's tamed. Oh. Mate. <laughs> right there. Let me just put the mutton in your inventory. Mate, that is... That is... Hilarious. Alright, put the... Actually, we'll put you on follow and passive, because the bees will... Are the bees going to attack me? Okay, no. Sweet, it's one of those ones that just doesn't have bees in it. But that is amazing. 
for that into instantly for low spoil timer. Yeah, sometimes the bee hives have bees and sometimes they don't. If they do, it's a pain in the butt. If they don't, you just get hurt for a little bit. Now let's see. Well, he's still here. Let's see. Bear. Dive our saddle. Oh my. No! In a hundred! A hundred cementing paste! Are you kidding me? Cement a hundred! Um. Like, what? No! 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 Are you kidding me? Let me just craft as much as I can with the little that I have. A hundred cementing paste. Alright, that's going to be a lot of off-cam grinding, guys. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys when the bear's tamed. I mean, that's 31. It's not too bad. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. What's your top looking like, my friend? It's not too bad. I should repair my armor. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, guys, so we're back, and... Turns out, 100 cementing paste isn't that hard to get. <laughs> I just killed a crap ton of scorpions and farmed a bunch of stone down there, and... Yeah. Bam. Bear saddle. Um, I have not repaired my armor. I'll do that real quick. Let's just do that with my... Yeah. Do I need to get some... I just used it all to craft this last 30. Alright, that's unfortunate. I guess I'll just do half broken armor. She'll be alright. But yeah, we have a bear saddle. And we have honey still not spoiled. No, I still got plenty of time. Chillin'. Now yeah, it's starved down a good bit by about like almost a thousand, if not over a thousand food by now. Yeah. Not over a thousand, I'm done. <sighs> Only about six hundred, but yeah. Not even six hundred, I'm done. Um let's avoid the raptors. I'm getting all sorts of fun friends spawning in, uh, right next to my base. So yeah, still that dead sheep there, because sheep bodies are insanely healthy, especially at high levels. So yeah, we should have everything we need to tame this guy. I don't think it'll take more than 5 honey. Like, I have 2x taming on this save, and honey is really good for bears. Now yeah, the worst... Now yeah, it would suck. Yeah, well, those rabbits that bowled over there would still be there, I think. Now, it would suck if like something spawned next to the bear and attacked it. Because bears do get aggroed on by a lot of things. So I would hate to have to deal with that. Also, yeah, max level super turkey. I'm dumb. Um, let's not bother that pink bear. I don't know what level it is, but let me just check. I really don't want to attempt another one of these guys. Yeah, 90. We killed a ravager. Good job, bear. Good job. There's another scorpion. So many scorpions on this map. This map is such a good place to go for, like, scorpions and, like, orvis and stuff. It's a big diplo. Oh, crap, raptor. Uh... Probably I didn't get to see. Whatever, it's probably not important. Kano, right? Yeah, remember you. Those are the Ravagers? No, those are more Raptors. Oh my god. This map has so many Raptors on it. Let's try and avoid them if we have to go into the weird mushrooms. Alright, they're going to come through. Yeah. Bear seems to be okay. I don't see anything attacking it, so let me just grab the honey and quickly tame it up. Hopefully that... Horse doesn't lead any. Okay, yeah, raptors are all fine. Let's go over here, put it on passive, just to make sure. And how much do you get? Of? Okay, yeah, 37%. percent we'll only take three. And you tamed? Yes! Oh my god, we've got an amazing tame. Episode 2. Oh yeah, what kind of stats you get, mate? That health doesn't look insane, but that melee's quite good. Like, I'm never going to complain about a 400 plus melee stat. Uh, demolish this. I don't know if you can fit out a one. Probably. But yeah, this is such a good tame. Like, yeah, bears are so good. Like, they harvest fire, but they really strong. They harvest, like, berries. Let's go and murder these raptors. Oh, right, we're up. We're on aberration. Right, yep. Yeah, raptors do that on, our, on this map. I forget. I forget. I forget. I'm dumb. Oh crap, there goes my armor. Oh crap, oh crap, this is a bad idea. Bear. Let's kill you. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't fight raptors. We can still get pounced. Alright, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's pump some health up. Because, yeah, we can heal this guy really efficiently on the weird tentacle healing plant things on this map. Let's leave here and just murder all these noobs. 218 damage base. 
That's insane. Okay, what's the... Okay, yeah, it's only level 50. Or it kind of matter if we killed a high level. Um, four levels, I want to get this thing to maybe 5k health. That should be enough to... I don't know why I'm bothering to heal it now. Because, yeah, we have one of those weird plants, like, right close to base, but yeah. This is... big progress. Big progress, this is... Why well, don't just reverse what I said? Okay, we got some bulb dogs here. Here, yeah, 45. What's the other one? Where is it? It's being attacked, yeah. Alright, yeah, it's dead. Alright, let's get some electronics. I now make an arrow will attack you, like, no matter what, if there's any corpse, like, anywhere near you. Like, even if you didn't kill it, or tr make any attempt to eat it. Alright, yeah. Let's keep pressing on. Let's get back to base, and... Yeah, we'll see what else we're gonna do. I don't know if we have enough time to do anything else in this episode. And you also, also, yeah, bears are really fast. It's amazing. Like, yeah, they build up speed if you can get them, like... Yeah, if you, if you right, uh, if you travel for enough distance over a flat enough area. Yeah, they'll lose all the speed if, like, you... Um... If, like, you, like, drop off and take full damage or anything. Let's go demolish these guys. Unfortunately, I don't get, like, a charge attack like a rhino. That would be cool. Yeah, I should probably not be picking fights with random packs of ravages, because these things are still pretty strong. And their bleed is no joke. And you... are dead. Okay, yeah, I'm at level 50. Yeah, correct. And yeah, 5k health, and let's just keep pumping the rest into melee. I think there's one of those plant things. Yeah, around here somewhere. It's probably one another one closer to base. They're everywhere on this map. But yeah, this is amazing. I love bears so much. They're such good tames. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so quickly, before I end this episode, I want to make me some cryopods. So, about a carcanos here. And that hit. Sweet. Oh yeah, right. I thought we'd be doing reduced damage because bullets do reduce damage to these guys. But yeah. Now, in order to properly kill this guy, we've got to get him away from the water. Like, not like that. Because, in case you didn't know, guys, Karkonos can just grab you off your mount if you're too close to water. Like, that is extremely bad. Come on, dude. It's, there's no point really shooting it because it's going to eat this body and heal. But yeah, let's get some poly from this guy and make some crap. I think we have everything else. And there's a drop next to my base, so it's the perfect time. Oh my god, this... they shoot it. What was the Spino, actually? I wouldn't mind getting a good Spino. What? Ooh! Oh! That might be next episode's job, guys. Well, no, we're definitely not doing it this one, but... That could be the job for next episode. I want to see if I can maybe find a better one. Let's just find a green gem here. Okay, I'll see you roll right nearby. No? But yeah, that is... Oh yeah, there's a roll right bar right here. But yeah, that is amazing. Because... Bulb Dog's mate boosted. Where's your friend? Over here somewhere, maybe? No? You don't have a friend. You got a mate. Okay. But yeah, that Spino could be very useful, because Spinos are very good. But you, I'm still checking the levels of all the Bulb Dogs I see, because I really want to get a good one. Oh, Ravages over there. But yeah, I'll head back to base, get all the resources in. Because I'm pretty sure I have everything else, and yeah, we'll go craft us up some cryopods. We just level the bear first. But, yeah, see you guys in a little bit. Alright, I have everything on me for the cryopod. So, hopefully, I'm pretty sure I've got enough for multiple. So, what's in this drop actually? That's absolute trash. Why do I have fold of you on? I don't know. Turn off fold of you, please. There we go. How many can we make? Six. That's amazing. Oh my god, it's so loud, the sound to craft these things. Turn down my audio. There we go. Now I can actually hear that without my ears dying. But yeah, it's lucky that we're, we've got a base next to a drop spot, because like... Yeah, and a pretty common one at that, because... Yeah, it means potentially a higher tier drop could spawn here, and I get good loot, and also means yeah, I can easily craft more cryopods. Not that I'll ever need more than six at this stage in the game. And we're short on oil, so we could easily make walks. I've just been killing a bunch of tech creatures to farm metal because I don't know where any nodes are. Let's take all that out. Amazing. Yeah, that is six cryopods crafted up. Amazing. Get out of my 
piece. I don't know. How long have I had that on me? That is six cryopods crafted up. Um, so, yeah, now we can use them for various cryopod purposes. I'll just equip these. I unequip them because they were getting distracting as I was doing stuff. Um, put these away. And all this. This. But, yeah, that is amazing. Uh, yeah, just be quick over some mutton. But, yeah, that'll probably be the end of this episode of Aberration. Come to Sugar Town. We've got an insanely good team. We've got the cryopods, which are amazing. Everyone loves cryopods. And, yeah, that's pretty much. You know, and, yeah, we did find that really nice spino. So, potentially, we could get that in the next one. Because the spino is really good for this map because there's so much water. And, like, yeah. We didn't know spiders are amazing in water. Was well, yeah. I'll probably also get advanced to more advanced terms like tools and stuff. Cause yeah, as you can see, I've been killing so many tech creatures, so I've got a bunch of metal uh, for metal stuff like along that and that whatnot. But yeah, that's the end of this one. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.